Hey guys, thanks for joining on my tutorial on how to create yourself a somewhat nude looking cap before you apply your wig on. I will try my best to guide you through on how I do my imperfect naked cap <laughs> before applying my wig. Now like I do before I put any cap on, I like to lay my hair down. If you guys have braids or long hair, I highly recommend that you braid it down. If you can't, then I will say to put it at a low ponytail in the back as low as you can and then braid it if your hair is long and kind of pin it down. But definitely to where it's not obvious um, versus my advantage where my hair is a lot shorter. Um, I just have a little baby ponytail in the back, which is very convenient for me. Um, once you have all that in, um, you pretty much want to make sure that you brush any hair that kind of went to the front when you put the cap on. Brush it towards the back because you don't want any hanging towards, you know, your edges when it's time for you to spray it on. As you can see, I'm using my everyday go-to favorite spray, Gots to Be Spray. Um, it works great for me. I'm not sure for others, but it works great for me, especially since I'm not one of those that like to use glue and I have sensitive skin and I feel like it goes well for me. Now, what you're seeing here is me applying and rubbing in the spray and pretty much drying it down. You want to keep it at as a medium high for your dryer level. You don't want to keep it too high to where it's burning you. Um, just at a medium high, if you can tolerate the heat, go ahead, but I prefer to do a medium high. Once you have the front completely sprayed down, as you can see, I went ahead and I put the cap over both ears and then I took my scissors and I put a small tiny hole into it, which I stretched with my fingers and was able to put around the ear. That way I could have a better hold on sticking that area of the cap down. So when I put my wig on, my hair is not sticking out. As you can see, I did the same thing to the other ear. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the spray and spray behind that ear as well for that extra hold. You're going to go ahead and dry that down. Please, please make sure that the cap is completely dry, especially if you're going to put your wig on right after. Make sure that it's dry. Now, I don't normally do this every time I put my wig on. Honestly, I just throw it on at times. Um, but if I know that I plan on wearing like um, a certain colored wig, yes, I do go ahead and I do take the time to do this. Um, and I just keep this on my head for a couple of days and it, it stays pretty, it, it, it stays it stays on there pretty good, honestly. Um, it doesn't start to peel back or anything. The cap actually lasts until I remove it. Um, what I'm doing there is just about cutting all the additional um, additional pieces of the cap um, all around the head. And be very careful when you get to the corners because you don't want to accidentally cut your own hair. Um, what I just cut off there was just an additional piece that was in the back. Um, I don't normally cut it all the way through. I just cut whatever is going to be showing, which is mainly the front. I don't ever care too much for what's going on in the back of the head. Uh, once you cut all that extra piece that's hanging from the cap, you might see a little bit of little tiny pieces in the front. Don't be afraid to cut that. Because this is not glue and it's spray, you can lift the cap up a little bit, which is what I like about this technique and using this spray. Your cap is not glued down. So you can lift it up to cut a little bit further back if you feel like the cap is too close to your forehead. Um, just make sure that you do do this before you apply um, some more spray to the front. Because once you add that spray, it kind of gives it that additional hold. Not to say that it won't, you know, be easy for you to lift up some more and cut some more off the cap. But um, I just recommend to make sure you cut enough off before you actually spray it down again. And like I said before, just make sure when you're spraying the hair that it's completely drying. The video is fast forward, so it looks like I'm not drying it for that long, but I really am. So just make sure that it's dried all the way before moving to your next step. Now, make sure that you rub it in. I kind of like use both my hands and my, you know, my tail, my metal tail comb, I should say, the yellow one that I'm using. I use that to lay down the front of the hair. <laughs> it's so crazy because my hair was actually that length just last year. So it, it's so crazy. It looks like I have <laughs> like a brush cut, the cap. 
But um, anyways, um, yeah, just use the comb to kind of like press down whatever is left in the front so it could blend down properly. Once you do that, go ahead and take out your trusty makeup kit that you normally use to color up your your parts for your wigs or even your caps, whatever it is that you use it for when it comes to your hair. Go ahead and pull that out because that's what you're going to be applying on your wig. I like to use a white concealer first. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like to use a white concealer first before going over with my skin tone foundation on it that's just what I do um, it's optional you can just put the you know the foundation on there first um, versus putting a the concealer then the foundation that's just something I do I'm just here to show you guys techniques that I use if you find it helpful terrific um, if you find something from it that's still terrific um, either way I'm just happy you're here uh, when I'm done applying the makeup, what I like to do is apply some of the Got To Be spray on top of it, and I kind of rub it in with my fingers, uh, just to make sure it kind of like um, gives me a nude look. Now, heads up, when this cap does come off, you will have tons of makeup on your hair, so don't say I did not warn you. <laughs> but um, you pretty much just rub it in, and once you have that rubbed in. Then you go ahead and you proceed with your next step after it's dry, which is placing on your wig and styling your wig, as you can see. And if you want to know how I was able to style this wig and get it looking the way that I did, go ahead and search for that video. You should be able to find it on my channel. Until next time, guys. Bye.